I still think we should have teleported to the to our location. Hey, remember, we don't live in some kind of cyberpunk um, technological future. These teleporters are fairly limited. Sure, from our base of operation, they might be able to teleport us from an, from our base to a town right next to this, next to where the, our base is. But if we were to teleport any further than that, we risk of losing on all of the energy in the teleporters, or even worse, frying them. I think it's safer that we go there on foot, and then after we are done, we teleport back. Who knows? Maybe something bad happens when we are there. I know, I know. I just figured that we could use them to get there faster. I mean, you know what? It's just an old decrepit castle. Like we are going to need teleporters. Hey, what would you like more? Or to get to get there faster and then walk the whole day back to the base? Or would you like to get there this way and then get back 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 to the base faster? Okay, but still. Oh well, you quit it already. I get it. I thought you were supposed to be the disciplined one. You know, the guy who is not bothered by stuff like this. The guy who... I get it, Ryan, but even I have my limits. Okay. Um, I do want to ask you. How did you meet Jonathan? Well, you know that last guy. You see, he and I used to go to a university and decided that after we were done with that, we would look for some jobs together to work because we were taking the same course. So, after that, we were struggling to find jobs at the university and after a while, Jonathan found us, heard about our dueling skills and recruited us to the team and promised that we'll get paid. So, with no other bit a good option, we accepted and we did get paid in the end after a while. But we are starting to realize that that may have been a mistake. I see. Well, I'm sure you know how I got into this game now. Yes, I know. The same way that Felix guy I recruited. Well, I did hear what you overhear what you were talking to about Jonathan once he got back from meeting Duty and. Yeah, me, me and Blood also had the problem with being a bit aggressive. What do you suppose might be the case with that? I see. Well, I don't really know myself, if I'm being honest. I'm sure that after we're done with this, Jonathan might open up a bit about what the hell exactly is happening here. But as of now, I think we should move on. Castle, the has the castle is still pretty far away. All right, let's go then. Oh boy, it already got dark. Yes, but at least we are already here. Jeez, this place has seen better days. I agree. Hmm. Come on. I think we should go this way. Could be here. This is a big room. Hey, take a look at there. Look at that pillar over there, it has something on it. it. Looks like a sphere. Hmm, it looks important. Do you think do you think that could be it? Very well could be. I think we should go and take a look. You who go there, stop this instant! What the who the hell said that? I think that would be him. What are you? I am what is known as a Dual Guardian, and I am here to defend the Dark Deities of Ultima Zolkin from anybody who will try and take them from their resting place. Oh really? And what are you going to do? Take a magical broom and start beating us until we leave? <laughs> 
Well, you know, I could do that, and it could be a lot more threatening than you make it sound. But no, the only way you will get the Dark, de the dark Deities is if you manage to defeat me in a duel. Alright, then bring it on! Excuse me, I'd like to duel him, thank you very much. No, go fuck yourself, I called the dibs on it, I'm dueling! No you haven't, you fucking liar! Or will you both put a sock in it? I can do both of you with no problem. There, happy? Fine then, but you're only making it easier for both of us. Yeah, dueling against both of us, you're asking to lose. Let's no fool! I'll begin. It's not the best hand. I'll normal summon Vampire Lady in attack. Then, I set one card face down. That ends my turn. My turn, I will draw. I'll begin by normal summoning Mechlord Army Deployer Obligator. A Mechlord? Well, at least now we know that using Synchro Monsters is a terrible idea. Unless it's absolutely necessary, do not use Synchros. Now we we'll use Obligator's effect. By destroying him, sending him to the graveyard, I get to special summon two Mechlord Army Monsters from my deck to the field. So, give a warm welcome to Mechlord Army of Weisel and Mechlord Army of Skeel. Now, I'm going to use Mechlord Army of Skeel and Mechlord Army of Weisel in order to build the overlay network. Now, I'm going to Xe summon Gear Giant X! Now I use Gear Giant X's special ability. By detaching one of his overlay units, I get to add one level 4 or lower machine from my deck to, from my, deck to my hand. I'll add Black Salvo to my hand. And now, my, my Gear Giant Attack his vampire lady! Too bad for you, I got a trap! I activate Shadow Spell! Now your monster loses 700 attack points, it can no longer attack us! Not bad. I will set. Three cards. Beast down. That's going to be it for my turn. Finally, my turn. I draw. I begin by activating the field spell. Sanctuary in the sky. Now, as long as we control a fairy monster, we do not take any battle damage while this card is face up on the field. Now, I'm going to normal summon Agent of Mystery Earth in attack mode. And I use its effect. When she's normal summoned, I get to add an agent monster from my deck to my hand. However, if I control Sanctuary in the sky, I get to add this little fella. My favorite monster, Master Hyperion. Then, I'm going to activate Oton Lee. Now I get to special summon a level 4 or lower light monster from my hand. I'll special summon Agent of Miracles Jupiter. And now, I'm going to activate the second spell card, Celestial Transformation. I get the special summon a fairy monster from my hand by cutting its attack points in half and negating its effects. I'm going to special summon Shining Angel. Now, let us begin. I'm going to banish my Agent of Mystery in order to special summon Master Hyperion to the field. Now, I'm going to build the overlay network using my Jupiter and Shining Angel. Now, I'm going to Xe summon. By overlaying the souls of these two monsters, I create a new life. And this new life shall raise the spirits of our troops. Come forth and lead us to victory. I Xe summon and rank for Cher Fairy Cheer Girl.
And now you should affect by detaching one of the overlay units. I get the draw card. I'm going to set this card face down. And now I use the effect of my Master Hyperion. I'll banish a fairy monster from my graveyard to destroy your giant. Yeah, how about I do that for you? I activate my trap card, Destruct Potion. By destroying my Gear Giant X, I gain life points equal to his original attack points, which would be 2300 life points. That's fine by me, you're gonna lose them all the same. Wait, before you attack, I activate my trap card, Battle Mania. Now all of your monsters are forced to attack this turn. <sighs> Be careful. Whatever he's doing, he wants you to. He wants you to attack him. I'm aware, but it's not like I have much choice, do I? I'll start by attacking with Vampire Lady. Attack him directly. Your friend was right to be afraid. I activate my trap card. Rainbow Life! Now, by discarding a card from my hand to the graveyard, I will gain life points instead of taking damage for the rest of the turn. That includes either effect, and damage, or battle damage. So instead of taking those 1550 points of damage, I'll gain them instead. Ah, <sighs> shit. Master Hyperion and Fairy Chirga, attack him directly! I have to end my turn. My turn, I draw. I'll activate the Continuous Spellcast Supply Squad. Now, once per turn, when one of my monsters gets destroyed, I get to draw a card. I normal summon the Tuner Monster Black Salvo. And now, I'm going to use its effect to bring back a level 4 or lower dark attribute machine type monster from the graveyard. I'm going to bring back <clears throat> my Mechlord Army of Wiseau. Now, I'm going to tune these two monsters together. By synchronizing the power of these two monsters, I create a new life. Blooming in the gardens bathed by moonlight, I rise in the name of the dragon warrior who gave you to me. Protect, uh, protect the world from these dark monsters from ever rising again. I Seacro summon level 7 Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Wait, what? A dual dragon? Oh, that's impossible! It's quite possible. It was given to me to protect the prisoner which keeps the, er, the dark deities. It, the man who gave it to me was both a dragon warrior and a number user. I don't remember his name, but his last name is pretty clear to me. The last name was Nolan. But anyway, let us continue. I activate Black Rose Moonlight Dragon's special ability. If it's successfully special summoned, or if you summon a level 5 or higher monster, I get to bounce one monster in the field. I'm going to bounce your Master Hyperion. No! That was my favorite monster! Now I have two options. Either I attack your Vampire Lady to deal you damage, since Sanctuary in the Sky won't protect you from that, or I attack your Fairy Cheer Girl, so I can get rid of it and any potential of you summoning the Chaos Form, or using its effect to draw a card. I think I'm going for your Fairy Cheer Girl. Black Rose Moonlight Dragon attack, Fairy Cheer Girl! Moonlight Rose Flare! I end my turn with that, and it all goes back to me. I set the card face down. Then, I'm going to normal summon Unizombie. 
I use this effect. By discarding a card from my hand to the graveyard, I can change the level, I can add one level to a monster in the field. I'll choose him, so now he's level 4. Now I'll tune him with my vampire lady. Now I'm going to synchro summon Thought Roller Archfiend. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that won't go through. Moonlight Dragon's effect activates. Since you summon the monster that's level 5 or higher, I can bounce one monster in the field back to your hand. So say goodbye to Thought Roller Archfiend. Well, it's a shame I can't use his effect since he can only negate spell and traps at target, but it is what it is. Good thing that good thing he wasn't my plan. I activate a spell card, Book of Life. I get the special summon a zombie monster from my graveyard by banishing and banish one monster in your graveyard. So I'll banish your dear giant text to bring back the spare from the dark. Now, this spear from the dark, attack Moonlight Dragon! No! <laughs> I was careless and let that happen. Well, at least Supply Squad allows me to draw another card. I end my turn! My turn, I draw! It's not much, but this will provide me some defense. I set a monster face down in defense mode, and activate the second supply squad. I end my turn. My turn, I draw. Not bad. At first I'd like to comment, Ryan, that your move was, com that your move was comple completely careless. Synchro summoning against some mech little deck. Well, honestly, I don't care. As long as the plan worked out the way it was supposed to, and sure enough it did, plus even if this guy had something, I would just wait for it and welcome it with open arms. Ugh. I activate my trap card back to the front. I get to bring back a monster from, uh, from our graveyard in defense mode. I'll bring back Fairy Cheer Girl in defense mode. And you were right, I did have the Chaos Form. I activate rank up magic barrier force to rank up my eight my fairy chair girl into a chaos exes monster. Let the power of chaos surge through your body and transform you into the powerful queen of chaos. Chaos exes evolution. Come forth, chaos exes dark fairy chair girl. Now, Dolphin Chirga will be the first one to attack. Attack his face down monster! Well, too bad for you, my face down monster was a Nightlord No Close Infinite Core. And once per turn, this card can't be destroyed by battle. So, I don't care. I still have the spare from the dog to attack with. But first, I activate the effect of Fairy Ch Dark Fairy Chirga. Since she battled and is still on the field, I get to detach one of the overlay units. And then dealing you damage, and then dealing you 400 damage for each card in my hand. But unfortunately, I only have one, which is Master Hyperion that you returned to my hand earlier. Yeah. But regardless, that's still 400 points of damage. Oh no, 400 damage! Now I'm only left with 50,650 life points. Oh no! Yeah, be funny, smart ass. Next turn, we're hitting you with so much damage. You will be fearing it. Now, but for now, the spare from the dark attack and destroy his nuclear Nutella pole thing, whatever it is. Mm. The only thing you did by destroying my nucleus is that you gave me advantage because of thanks to my two supply squad, I brought two more cards. So basically, you just gave me a little pot of greed. And these two cards are not half bad at all. Whatever, I end my turn. And it all comes back to me. I activate the continuous spell card, Mech Lord Assembly. 
Now, when this card gets activated, I get to add one Mechlord monster from my deck to my hand. I think Mechlord Army of Grinnell would serve me nicely. Next, I'm going to normal summon Mechlord Army of Grinnell. Then, I'm going to use the effect of my spell card. By discarding a card from my hand to the graveyard, I get to destroy one face-up Mechlord monster on my field. In exchange, since if a Mechlord card gets destroyed on my side of the field, I get to destroy a face-up spell or trap on your field. So by destroying my Grinnell, not only will I draw two more cards, but your Sanctuary in the Sky is also gone! <coughs> no! My field spell! Now I get to draw my two cards. But now, the main event. Since a monster on my field was destroyed by a card effect, I can special summon this fella from my hand. Mechlord Emperor Grinnell! And I'm pretty sure what you know what his effect is. I he gains attack points equal to half of my life points. Since my life points are 15,625, the attack points you'll gain will be 7,825. Next, I am going to banish three network monsters from my graveyard. Now let's see, I'm going to banish my Nucleus, one, one Granary, and my Obligator, in order to special summon one of the strongest monsters in my whole deck, one of the Mechlord Astro Monsters, come forth, Mechlord Astro Dragon Tree Skelios! <laughs> Jesus Christ! A Mechlord Emperor and a Mechlord Astro Monster? You have to be kidding me! Yes, and thanks to Triskelios' effect, when he attacks, I get, to, I get to take a peek in one of your extra decks, and then take one monster from, the, uh, from those ex well, one of those extra decks, and equip it to Triskelios. And Triskelios gets that monster's attack points. Ah! Oh no! Not to mention that once that happens, it gets to attack three times on monsters. Of course, I believe that if the equip monster is a synchro monster, but who really cares? So, since I'm going to attack your despair from the dark, I think, Mr. Rells, it's only appropriate that I take a look at your extra deck. So let us see what you've been hiding there. Ooh, these are some very powerful cards I have to say. Yes, very strong cards. But although there's so many choices, I think I'm going for the choice that has the highest attack points. So, Mr. Rill, the monster I'm going to choose for your extra deck to equip is your Draco Sikos! Nether, the Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon! And his attack power of 4,000 attack points! Uh, if that thing hits us, we lose! Which is why I won't let it go through. I activate Ryan's face down, we'll walk through! Now for the rest of the turn, our monsters can't be destroyed by battle, and we take no battle damage. <sighs> Damn! Do I set one card face down? Turn end. My turn, I draw! I activate Pot of Greed! I draw two more cards. I switch our monsters to defense mode. Then I set two cards. 
Beast down. That ends my turn. My turn, I draw. Alright, Triskelios, attack their two monsters! You took the bait! I activate my trap card, Mirror Force! Now all of your monsters go bye-bye! Well, unfortunately for you, although you got rid of my two big monsters, my two supply squads will replenish my hand. But also, I'm going to activate my trap card. Right, go! Mechlord, Astro, the Eradicator! Now, I get to choose one of these. Either I special summon, or act, either I special summon ignoring their summoning conditions, three mechlord monsters from my graveyard, or I add three mechlord monsters to my hand from my graveyard. That won't go through either. I actually dark pride. This will negate your trap and allow you to draw a card. Very well then. Unfortunately for you, my hand advantage is still higher than yours. I am going to discard three Mechlor monsters with different names. I'll discard my Infinite Core, Skill, and Wisel to the graveyard. Now, when the three mechanical rulers combine into one, they create the ultimate machine of destruction. I call upon Mechlord Astro Mechanical! Kidding me! And here I thought we were out of the water, yet we are still in a whirlpool of trouble. Indeed you are. Though unfortunately, since it's the main phase 2, I will have to end my turn there. My turn, I draw. I set up the phase down and end my turn. My turn, I draw. I activate Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down card. What? No! I changed you! No! Astro Mechanical, attack his fairy cheer girl! I end my turn there. My turn, I draw! I bricked! I end my turn! My turn, I draw! I activate Pot of Greed! Now I need to draw two cards. I set two cards face down. And now, Mech Lord Astro Mechanical attack his despair from the dark! Their last line of defense. <laughs> I end my turn. My turn, I draw. Perfect. This is gonna help out. I activate Call of Sanctity. Now we all draw until we hold six cards in our, in our hands. <laughs> Perfect. Just saying. Not bad, but you do have to remember that by giving me so much advantage, you're already putting yourself in peril, considering that I already have cards on my field that give me more advantage over you. Well, too bad, for once I'm done with you, you won't even get a chance to take that advantage. I actually part of the video, letting me draw two more cards. Grateful Charity. I draw three more cards than this card too. Perfect. I'll discard these two. 
And now, I'm going to activate the effect of Agent of Life Neptune. By discarding him from my hand to the graveyard, I can special summon Agent of Creation Venus to my field. And now I'll use Venus's effect. I'll pay a thousand life points to bring out two Mystic Shine Balls from my deck to the field. Next, since I haven't normal summoned, I normal summon Raiden, Hand of the Light Sword. Now, I'm going to tune together my two Shine Balls and my Raiden. Now, I Synchro Summon Avenging and I Cross that. Now, I'm going to banish Venus in order to bring out back to the field Master Hyperion. Stop right there, scum! I activate my trap card, Torrential Tribute! Now all the monsters on the field are destroyed, including my mechanical. Though I will get some advantage out of it, of course. Unlike you. Well, first, thanks to my supply squad, I brought two more cards. But, more importantly, since a monster in my field was destroyed by a card effect that triggers the effect of a Mechlord monster in my hand, come forth, Mechlord Emperor Skill! <laughs> you are a fool! Now you made the situation even worse for yourself! Since I, since we have 10 or more light monsters in our graveyard, I can bring out my ultimate card! A card that can be rivaling a god! Come forth! Sapphire Lord! The ultimate time lord! <laughs> And I use Sapphire's effect. I can special summon a light fairy monster that's level five or higher from my hand or my graveyard back to the field. Its effects are negated permanently, and its attack points become 4,000 permanently. So I'll bring back Master Hyperion for some well-needed payback for before. Now, since I control two or more light monsters on my field, I can special summon Guardian of Order to my field. Now, let's begin the onslaught. Guardian of Order, destroy Mechlord Emperor Skill! Skill! Now, Master Hyperion, attack him directly! And finally, Sapphiron, attack him directly! It might be able to rival a god, but a god it is not. I activate my trap card, Draining Shield, thus regaining all the life points I lost from uh, your master Hyperion. Huh? No! I end my turn. My turn, I draw. That's nice. I think I'll begin by activating double summon. Thanks to this, I can normal summon twice this turn. I'll begin by normal summoning Black Salvo. And now I use its effect once again, bringing back Mechlord Army of Wiseau. Now I'll tune Wiseau with Black Salvo in order to synchro summon level 6. Samurai Destroyer! I'm still not done. 
I have it normal summon. I haven't used my second normal summon. I normal summon silver gadget. And use his effect to special summon a level 4 machine from my hand. I'm going to bring out my third and final Mechlord Army of Grinnell. Now, I use these two monsters in order to build the overlay network. <clears throat> By overlaying the souls of these two monsters, I create a new life, cloaked in shadows and relentless in its objective. I call upon the most dangerous of dragons. I exist summon rank 4 Dark Rebellion Exist Dragon. Will it ate Barney the purple dinosaur? I have never seen this exist monster before. Nor will you ever see anything like it again. I use his effects by detaching both of his overlay units. He, I can target one monster on the field, on your side of the field, and then he gains half. He takes away half of that monster's attack points permanently and adds them to his own. So I will be taking the 2000 attack points from Master Hyperion and be adding them to Dark Rebellion. What? Now I hope you're ready to meet my last Astro Monster. I activate the spell card Trap Booster. By discarding a card from my hand to the graveyard, I get to activate a trap card directly from my hand. So I activate the second Mechlord Astro the Eradicator. And with this, the three monsters I choose to bring back from my graveyard will be Mechlord Army of Wizo. A second Mechlord Army of Wizo. And the Mechlord Emperor Skill. And now, I'm going to tribute my three Mechlord monsters in order to bring out my ultimate m m Astro Monster, Mechlord Astro Dragon Exterix! And he gains attack points equal to the total combined attack of all monsters I have tributed to summon him. I tributed two army of Wizo, which is 1900 times 2, 3800, plus the 2200 from my skill. That totals up to 6000 attack points. Now let's begin the onslaught. Dark Rebellion will take aim at Hyperion. My Samurai Destroyer will take aim at Guardian of Order. And finally, Asterix will destroy your Sapphion, the ultimate Time Lord! No! No! Our whole field is gone! Now life points have dropped significantly. I end my turn with that. My turn, I draw! And honestly, I have had it for bullshit! I activate Heavy Storm! This will destroy all the spells and traps on the field. <laughs> Next, I activate the field spell Zombie World! Now with this, all monsters on our fields and graveyards become zombies. Then I normal summon Rescue Rabbit. I use Rescue Rabbit's effect. I'll banish him, ready to bring out two Master Kianshis to the field for my death. Now prepare to meet my favorite monster. Now, by overlaying the souls of these two monsters, I create a new life. Now come forth. From the cold glaciers into battle, fight for your honor, the queen of absolute zero, 
number 103, ranking on zero! And I use Magna Zero's effect. You see, I can attach one of your overlay units, then target a monster on the field whose attack is different from its original. Then I can destroy it and draw one card. I'll destroy your Dark Rebellion! <laughs> oh! My Dark Rebellion! It was one of my best monsters! Now let's see what I can draw. Oh, it's gonna get a lot worse, buddy. I activate the spell card, rank up magic barrier scores! Now I can rank up my monster into a Chaos Exist monster. Let the power of chaos surge through your body and turn you into the Grim Reaper of the monsters who are greedy for power! Go, Chaos Exist Evolution! I call upon number Chaos number 103, Rank Affinity! And she has a similar effect to Ragna Zero, but instead of drawing it, it deals you damage. By detaching one of its overlay units, I get to banish one monster in your field whose attack is different from its original. I'll target Asterix, whose original attack is zero. And since he has 6,000 attack points, well, you can do the math. Hey, remember when I said that things are gonna get worse? I wasn't lying! I have four more things to do before I fit and before I end my turn. First things first, snatch! Taking control of your Samurai Destroyer! No! Now I'm defenseless! Alright, now thing number two I have to do. I activate the spell card, Dragon Slayer! With this, I get to banish monsters from my graveyard to fusion summon a dragon monster from my extra deck. I'll banish two zombie monsters from my graveyard to bring out my ace monster. Drago Necro Nether Soul Dragon! And let me tell you, he's really angry that you took his evolved version. Now, the third thing I have to do is attack! Now monsters, attack him directly! Good job, gentlemen! Now the fourth thing before I end my turn, I set this little card face down. And that ends my turn. My turn. That's gonna be working just fine. I activate the spell card, my second Mechlorn Assembly. And now, thanks to its effect, I'll add to my, from my deck to my hand, my last Mechlord. Now I fetch to my hand, Mechlord Emperor Wiseol. Next, I normal summon my third and final army of Wiseo. And next, I use Assembly's effect. By discarding a card from my hand to the graveyard, I will destroy my next world, which will activate its other effect to destroy your zombie world. But that does not matter. What matters is that a monster in my field was destroyed by a card effect. So I bring out Mechlord Emperor Wiseau! Now gentlemen, if you wish to win this duel, you will have to get past my last mech lord. So I use his effect. Since you control my the Samurai Destroyer who's a synchro monster, I'll take it, equip it to Wiseau, 
And now Moisel gains that monster's attack points. Now, Mestwood, Emperor Wiseau, attack and destroy Ragnarfinity! <laughs> Damn, this is a bad situation. We are only at the 100 life points left. Yes, and with that in mind, you cannot crash. Your Dragon Necro into my Wiseo to reduce his attack points to zero, because that would kill you before you could get a token to kill me. I end my turn. Right down to me, it's all or nothing. I draw! I activate Rank Up Magic the seventh one! Ryan is not the only one with an over 100 number. I activate Wiseo's effect! You can negate the spell for once per turn, so I negate your 7th one. We were expecting something like that to happen, which is why my partner left me this. Huh? What? Another 7th one? But you can't do that! You must draw it for your turn to activate it! Well, you see, that used to be the case. But the card has gotten limited recently on our ban list, and it has gotten an errata. So now it can be activated during any and regardless if you drew it for turn or not which is why I got which is why my partner left it face down for me to use now come forth and illuminate your enemies with your with your divine light and strike them down with your bow of justice come forth my ace monster number 102 star seraph century And now, thanks to the rank up magic, the seventh one, I can rank him up into a Chaos Xyz monster. Now, let your light, let, let your let your bright light turn into to a dark shadow, and let your bow of justice turn into a spear into a spear of destruction. Chaos Xyz evolution, come forth. Chaos number 102, Archfiend Seraph! <laughs> now Archfiend Seraph has a special ability. By detaching one of his overlay units, I can negate your monster's effect, and its attack points become zero. Now, Archfiend Seraph, attack Mechlord Emperor Wizard. Go! Dark Spear of Destruction! Go! 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 I can't let you win! Those monsters, they need to stay in prison! These dark... These dark abominations, they will break the end of the world if they're set free! No! No! You're wrong! We are going to use those things as a force of good. Or at least that's what our plan is. You're sorely mistaken. They cannot be a force of good. They have been created by the devil himself. Our minds are made up. We will take what we came here for. And then we will be one step closer to moving on with our lives. Please, no! Since I am the one who assured our victory, I think I'll do the honors. Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon, attack and end this! Underworld Soul Destructor! I will go and take the cards now. Hmm. I will take this card for safekeeping. <clears throat> no, you can't. I'm supposed to give it to the descendant of Nolan. You can't take it! 
Don't worry. I wasn't planning on keeping it for long anyway. I don't deserve it just like how I don't, don't deserve the Void Ogre Dragon I have. So be assured, if I find this Nolan guy, I will be sure to give him this cup. Got the co- What the hell is going on? Oh no, the castle! It's pulling apart! Anthony, the dark water! Use it now! <laughs> oh. I'll admit, Ryan, the fact that we walked all the way to the castle. Turned out to be a good idea instead of just teleporting there. Oh, the teleporters in these things are fried. I told you we would might need them. I've seen way too many adventure movies. I know that big old castles like that always have some kind of booby traps in them, especially falling apart when you take the treasure from them. Or in our case, cards. But at least I've got the cards. Oh. It's amazing, but also, in the same time, it's so terrifying holding all seven dark deities. Yeah, well, don't hold them for too long. You need to give them to Jonathan as soon as possible. I know. I'll go and give them to him, then I'll go and take a rest. You should go and take a rest as well. Yeah, I know, I'm going. See you later. Uh, Master into it? Yes. Well, we received uh, something disturbing an hour ago. The castle of the immortals has crumbled. What? What about the immortals themselves? Well, we sent a scavenger team to try and find them, but with no success. So we came to the conclusion that the reason that the castle crumbled is because the trigger has been activated and the only way the trigger could be activated is by taking the immortals from the castle altogether, more specifically from their shrine of, of rest. I see. Leave for now. I will see what our course of action is for now. Okay, master. Volden, Frank! What, what is, is it, master? Boss? It would seem that our precious Urban Immortals have been stolen. It's time for us to make our move. Send the scavengers. Send the, our card hunters. We need to find them. Don't worry, master. I'm sure that we will find who stole them from us. And once we do, they will burn in fires of my blaze of glory. That's right, and we will not let this slide. Once we find them, I will give them one-way flight ticket to Pain City. Good, good. Now, my children, let the search begin! Too late, corn pop. Um, I have already vocoded your voice. The gangsters are nice. 
Yeah, but if we were to do that, then we are risking of blowing up our teleporters. Remember, we don't live in an actual, like, super technological advanced future. If we were to do that, we are risking of destroying our teleporters, or even, or just, you know, losing and uh, losing all of the energy in them. Yeah. They are, they are able to, uh, this is not, this is, I'm not doing this well, fuck it. <laughs> I get it, right? Uh, Ryan, I almost said Raiden. <laughs> I've been playing too much Metal Gear Rising. Well, actually, it was around the time when I just finished uh, university. You know that Vlad guy who works with us? Well, he and I used to be friends from the uni from that university, and we decided to together find some jobs to do, but we were struggling to do so. So, after some time, Jonathan found us. He heard about our dueling skills and recruited us to the team, promised that we would get paid. And so, with no other option, uh, we joined, and uh, paid we did. Wait, what was the last one? I need to do that one again. It looks important. Do you think that could be it? Fuck. Ah! The fuck are you?! <laughs> Nope, I called it. Nope, go fuck the bah. My turn, I draw. Oh, wrong deck. By synchronizing the power of these two monsters, I create a new life. Now. Oh, oh fuck, I forgot. No! That was my favorite- oh, fuck. <laughs> now, I could attack that vampire lady for most damage, but that fairy shield girl still has an overlay unit. Not to mention that if you have the chaos version, and that could be a bit dangerous. So I think I'm going to get rid of your fairy cheer girl next. Attack, Moonlight Dragon! Oh fuck, I forgot the attack name. Now, I could attack Vampire Lady to deal the most damage, however, not only that you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field, uh, which prevents from taking damage, wait, is it, wait, I, I need to read Sanctuary in the Sky, I don't know if, if you have a fairy monster on the field, does it, wait, let me read Sanctuary in the Sky, give me a second, battle damage uh, to the controller of a fairy monster from battle involving that monster becomes zero, oh, so, oh, uh, now I have two options. Either I attack your vampire lady to deal you some damage since Saint Cherry in the Sky won't protect you at that point, or I attack Cherry... Uh, cherry. <laughs> <laughs> My turn, I draw. Uh, it's not the best, but this will provide me some defense. I set a monster face down in the fence position and activate the second supply squad. Fuck no. And back to me, I guess. Oh wait, fuck, wrong deck. <laughs> Meh, I don't care. As long as the plan worked out the way it did. And regardless, even if he has something to bring out, I'll just wait for it to come out and wait out and I'll just wait for it to... Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't prepare the card. <clears throat> and it all... And it all comes back to me. Ah, oh, fuck. And now I get to draw my two cards. But most importantly, since a Mechlord monster on my field was destroyed by a card effect, I get the special sub. Wait, it's if any card I'm pretty sure is destroyed. God fucking damn it. Not to, not to mention that it also gets 
three bonus attacks on top of that, on monsters only, of course. Now, I'll declare an attack on Despair from the Dark, and since that's the case, I think that I'm going... Oh, wait, I didn't pick up the hand, fuck. If that thing hits... Oh, fuck, I, I forgot to turn on the lights again. <clears throat> if that thing hits us... Ah, I forgot the words now, genius. <clears throat> My turn, I draw. Oh fuck. Wrong deck again. How many times am I gonna fuck this up? Well, it ain't fun, but. How many times did you fuck up this? 83. Sounds about right. Nor will you ever see. Ah oh, fuck, I started speaking in Anthony's voice. Oh, you.